The following tutorial is for integrating Klarna Checkout into your website. If you work with a website platform such as Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce, or any other e-commerce platform, you can use a plugin or contact your e-commerce platform provider for activating Klarna. For more information, please see the link in the description below. The integration of Klarna Checkout involves four main steps. It starts with creating an order API call to which Klarna will respond with an HTML snippet that will allow the merchant to render the checkout iframe. Once the user fills in their details and presses the buy button, the user gets redirected to the merchant's confirmation page where the merchant would render the Klarna confirmation snippet. In order to do that, the merchant would need to perform a retrieve order API call to which Klarna will respond with the confirmation HTML snippet. To perform any API calls, you'll need user credentials. In Klarna terms, we call these merchant ID and shared secret. You can create these by requesting them on the test credentials page. Go to the following link and click EU or US sign up depending on the market to which you're selling. Then fill in your email and click sign up. Afterwards, Klarna will send you an email with a username, a one-time password and a link to the merchant portal. When you log into the merchant portal for the first time, you'll have to choose a new password. Why don't we use Klarna test123 for now? Let's take a look at the Merchant Portal app menu. This is where you manage your orders, check your logs, handle your settlement files, and more. But for now, we're going to create our Merchant ID and Share Secret by clicking on the Settings icon. Then click Generate New API Credentials. Now your API credentials are generated. These will only be shown once, so make sure that you copy them or download them as a text file and save them securely. We can perform all our calls using these credentials in Postman. At any point, you can generate new credentials. In order to perform the API calls in this tutorial, we're going to use good old Postman. Postman is a tool that allows you to easily make API calls during development. If you want to learn more about Postman, please check out the video linked in the description below. The first step we need to take is creating a new request. Let's call this request Klarna Checkout Create Order. You can also add a description to your requests. For example, creating order for Klarna Checkout. We'll store this request in a collection and we'll call it test store. It's time to add our generated credentials in the authorization tab. Klarna uses basic auth, so let's choose that in the dropdown. Copy the credentials from the text file we downloaded before and paste them into the correct place in Postman. Next up, headers. Add a content type header that lets Klarna know that we expect a JSON response. We do that by adding content type application slash JSON. Okay, there are two main parts that are left to set up, the Klarna endpoint and the body of the request. First up, the endpoint. For this, we'll head over to Klarna's API documentation at developers.klarna.com slash API. As you can see, there are test and live environment URLs that Klarna provides. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the test environment URL and copy that into the request URL line in Postman. On the left-hand side, you can see an overview of all available API calls. Let's look at the checkout API and the create a new order call. Note that this is a post request. So let's set it up in Postman and copy over the endpoint. The second part is to focus on the body of the request. Click raw and select JSON as the body type. The details that we need to send in when creating a Klarna order are available in our developer documentation. There's a tab for request parameters and the response that you'll get back from Klarna. Note that for the request parameters, some are required while others are optional. You'll also see an example of a full request on the right hand side. For now, we'll only focus on the required fields and we've prepared an example file that you can use for your test calls. We'll link to it in the description below. Copy all of it into the body of the request. You'll notice that the test body includes a merchant URLs object that contains four required fields. The terms URL is used to redirect the user to your terms and conditions page. The checkout URL is used to bring the user back to your page in case the user was redirected, for example, during a 3DS check. The confirmation URL is used to redirect the user to the merchant confirmation page after the user clicks the buy button. And the push URL will be used by Klarna to send a notification once the purchase has been completed. Klarna will send a notification to this URL two minutes after purchase completion and will keep sending this every two hours for 48 hours 
until the merchant responds with the 200 status. Alright, we have the Klarna create order call set up with the required data, and now we can send the request. Klarna will respond with the order details, including your order ID, the status of the order, and the HTML snippet that will allow you to render the Klarna checkout. We've created a simple HTML file, linked to the description below, that you can use to render the Klarna checkout widget. All you need to do is copy and paste the HTML snippet from the Klarna create order response within the text area tag. Let's do that. Open the HTML file in a text editor of your choice. In this video, we're using Sublime Text. Copy the HTML snippet from the response into the text area tag and save the file. At the bottom of the HTML file, there's a script that dynamically renders the Klarna checkout widget. Please don't remove or change this script. Copy the relative path of the file over into a browser to render it. The Klarna checkout widget will then be loaded for the user to fill in their details and choose their preferred payment method. At this stage, Klarna would redirect the user to the confirmation URL, where the merchant would show the purchase confirmation widget to the user. Back in Postman, we'll do a GET request to get the status of the order and the purchase confirmation snippet. For this API call, you'll need to change the endpoint to include the order ID of the order we created earlier. So let's duplicate the API call and rename it to Retrieve an Order. Since it's a GET request, we'll change the method, remove the body, and add the order ID from our previous request to the endpoint. Press Send. In the response, you'll again find the HTML snippet that we'll use to render the confirmation widget to the user. Just like when we rendered the iframe before, we'll copy over the snippet and place it in the HTML file to render it. Save the file and copy the relative path over to a browser so we can render the confirmation widget. In this video, you integrated Klarna Checkout. You can find links to our integration guide in the description below. See you next time!